Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, click to share, hit the like, subscribe to my channel. Yep. Yeah, good morning. Welcome to my channel. Fat to get on my friends. Come and jelly. Use the Kitajet and journey to lose 212 pounds. That being said, let me show you all of Thursday's macro steps. Sleep. Friday's macro step sleep. Also, the food that I ate on Thursday, then Friday, it will be broken up so you don't get confused. Plus, the way in. Then we're going to have a chit chat. Let me go turn that TV off. I just got off the scale. Also, just got out of bed. I went up two pounds. I knew I was going up. This is how it always works. I go down drastically. I shoot back up about two pounds. No big deal. But I'm really sick today. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to make a video. Today is supposed to be a protein spare and modify fast day, but it's not going to be for me. I'm making a crap load of bacon and I'm covering it in salt. We're getting Dino too. The way I feel right now, and as big as whoosh as I had this week, um, I feel like my sodium is hitting the bottom. This is what happened when I was in the ER for three days before. I'm having the nausea, the diarrhea, the shaking. The room will not stop spinning and everything. He's trying to get over here and I'm blocking his way. Um, I'll probably sleep on and off today, but I'm going to glue myself with some Himalayan salt and on some bacon. And I know I don't have to use bacon, but um, it helps me get it down better. And I'm going to coat it with uh, salt and cook it. And um not care that today was supposed to be a protein spare in my five house day. It's three o'clock. I'm having nine pieces of the low sodium bacon. So I, while raw, loaded it down with him and lay and saw every single piece. And I'm not really wiping the grease off. I just have this here so I don't wipe the salt off. And I'm going to put more salt on here. I also just put tons of salt in my coffee because I don't like this filling. Has anyone got any suggestions on how to keep a kitten from playing with a clumpable litter? Let's forget about the fact they all think it's a playpen and they want to play in it. But now Willow likes to take the clumps and throw them out. I mean, almost immediately after she goes. She thinks it's supposed to come out. It, it, what? What, Willow? Why? Why? The other cat litter stinks so bad, I don't want to have to go back to it. But she thinks the clumps should come out immediately. She covers, digs them back up, and throws them out. <sighs> so, I'm laying here, feeling way better after, uh, it's been like an hour and a half after eating all that bacon and still nursing my coffee because it's a lot of sodium I put in my coffee. The dizziness has really calmed down a whole lot. Um, still not 100% yet. And the babies decided they needed to come lay with their mommy. And, and they needed to touch my leg. So, yeah, they don't, they don't do this during the day usually. But maybe because they can sense I'm not feeling that well. They have been on top of me all day now. They don't want to leave my sight. It is 7.20 at night. I am feeling better, but not amazing yet. I can feel a difference of all the sodium I've had. So yes, you guessed it. I am actually eating a whole pack of bacon today because I am on to round two of bacon. So, that being said, this container has nine servings. So I'm eating almost 800 calories in bacon. I'm having almost we'll say 46 somewhere around there I'm too tired to do math 50 something fats just from bacon I'm not having that much sodium this bacon has no sodium okay I mean this is less than a thousand sodium but I am loading it down with some Himalayan salt but this is the bacon I'm in love with now um, since Littles hasn't gotten mine over back in Aldi's is my new favorite and it's cheaper so it's in my oven cooking right this minute. Nine slices this morning, six now. That's how much is normally in here. And I'm going to sit here and end up eating a whole pound of bacon today. And we'll see what the scale does tomorrow. 
Um, and my kid just got here for the cat, so they're all running because they need someone to play with them, and I'm too sick. Yeah, I got another gift, and I'm really sick, so I'm really happy. Like, I'm always happy with my gifts, but it, it's a great thing. I'm assuming it's from Miss Jennifer because she sent me stuff yesterday, and there's no gift receipt. So thank you, Miss Jennifer, because I'm pretty sure it's you. If it's not, please don't get mad at me, people, because I didn't know. And this is my little measuring set that I wanted so bad, so very, very bad, but it was really expensive. I normally go to the Dollar Tree for my measuring cups and then they break on me. So yeah, I'm so excited. Like, I know I'm sick, I should be in bed, but I'm so excited, I wanted to show y'all these. Like it comes with a little conversion thing. It goes on your, it's a magnet for your fridge. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. And all these really awesome spoons, my favorite colors. The same with the little measuring cups. Oh, I am so thrilled. And me not feeling well and getting this present just made scenes even better. Um, these are those smidgen dab pinches. Like if you watch Wendy, you'll see her talking about. I've always wanted these and now I have them. Yes, it came as a gift. I'm so excited. Smidge, a pinch, a dash when you get recipes. So... Thank you so much. You just have no Thank clue. You, I'm I'm pretty sure it's Miss Jennifer. So I'll get okay, you. Thank you. So Piper woke up. Sharky and Willow sleeping, and Piper is trying her best to make Sharky wake up, and it is not working so far. And yeah, don't bite him so hard now. Hey, don't bite so hard. He just wants to sleep, and she wants him to wake up and play. Sorry, kitty. He doesn't want to wake up. He wants to sleep. Is it a hard life being alone? So here we go again. Wake up. Wake up. Play with me. Play with me. You know you want to wake up. Come on. Wake up and play. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Leave me alone. I want to sleep. Go away, Piper. Go away. Let me sleep, Piper. Piper, you're being mean. Fine, I'll bite you back. Go away, Piper. Wake up. So Thursday's macros. <clears throat> I did 142 protein, 38 fat. 1056 calories, 7 total carbs, 4 net carbs, 9728 was 5 hours and 29 minutes. My weigh in was 159.2. So, yes, that is an up from my low by a little over a pound and something. I don't know, I didn't write it down. Um, this happens, you know, when I hit a new low, I go up. It just happens. All right, so you're not getting a video. Um, you saw what I've eaten. I've also ate some boar's head sliced, sweet sliced ham that has like one carb for every three ounces, I think, or so. I ate about six ounces of that. I have loaded myself down with sodium today. I'm on my last collagen coffee right now. I feel five billion times better. I'm still feeling my really weak, but I'm no longer dizzy. The room is no longer spinning. I no longer feel like I'm about to collapse. Um, and... Yes, I went up two pounds, and I will probably go up more tomorrow because of all the sodium I took in. I took in probably 12,000 plus sodium today. I'm not going to lie. I soaked everything because I, I can't do that solo water. Sole water, whatever. Um, so, when the scale goes up tomorrow, which if it doesn't, I will be in shock because I loaded myself down with sodium. It's just because my electrolytes have got to readjust and got to flush back out and get more level and blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to panic and neither are y'all because this is what happens when we're, we let our sodium go too low during a rut, whoosh, whoosh, whatever. You have to eat a lot and drink a lot and try to get it back and then your body holds on to it because it thinks you're going to do it to it again and then it'll let it go. It's just a little punishment for um, not staying on top of that. So yeah, but no big deal. We'll get that off to you. Okay, so I am making me nine pieces of bacon right now because I'm not 100%, but I'm feeling a billion percent better than yesterday. I knew the scale was going to go up. What you didn't see me eat, but is in my macros, um, is the ham I told you about. 
I think I told you about the Gatorade, but if not, I also had two things of Gatorade and Gatorade by itself, even though it is sugar free, zero, zero sugar Gatorade, zero sugar. It always makes me go up about two pounds when I drink um, even one of them. So I knew I was going up just from that alone, much less a whole entire pack of bacon, whole bunch of Himalayan salt, a huge chunk of ham. It might have been more than six ounces. Um, and one thing I have to find macros on in a minute and put it in there. I had, it's loaded with sodium and I teed on it as a baby and it's going to gross people out. But I did have a pickle pig's feet. My daughter keeps them down at um, my mom's house, big giant jars of it because that was a me thing. I got her into it. My parents got me into it and I haven't eaten them since like February. I lost tons of weight eating them in February. Um, but so I had a big giant one of those and um, my carbs are like below 20 total carbs. Um, my calories will be still under 1500. So there was nothing to actually put fat on me, just a lot of swelling. The pickle pig's feet would have done it on its own because it is very bad sodium, like really bad sodium, like no good sodium in that one. But that's okay because it made me feel a billion times better after eating that. Um, about 45 minutes later, I started feeling amazing within within a couple hours last night after finish eating and drinking all that sodium. I could finally not be nauseous anymore. I wasn't dizzy anymore at all, and I was fine. I woke up this morning a little tired. I'm a little shaky still, but the dizziness, the nausea, none of that exists anymore. The kids were really good this morning. They woke um, me up this morning at 6 a.m. We just let them run free. They slept in the bed with us at our feet, willow above my head, um, until about 6. I got up to pee. And then they all followed me to the bathroom because it was time to eat, Mommy. So I brought them all out here. I gave them all food. And I went back to bed, expecting them to come get me. Because every morning they make me lay on the couch with them. But this morning I was smart. Usually I just pretend it's still nighttime and keep the window shut and they'll fall back asleep on the couch an hour later with me. This if I open the window. Tons of sun came in and they got on their little perch and stayed there all day long. I never heard a word out of them. Dino got up I think around 11. I'm not really sure but everyone let me sleep until 1. I think it was 1. Yeah about 29 minutes ago. Um, and, and I got some sleep from about I want to say 4 a.m. I just, you know, got woken up for a few a few times because they were at my feet. And then at 6 to 12, I didn't get woken up at all. So, I will show you what I eat today. And I got to go put those pickle pig's feet in my macros for yesterday. Okay, so these are very, very burnt because I got distracted and had to go do something. Turn the oven off and didn't realize how much they would still cook with the oven off. So, I'm going to eat them. They're nine pieces of bacon. Also having two full eggs and five ounces of egg white. All right, at seven o'clock, I'm having my second collagen coffee and I have 12 ounces of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Dad, I'll eat all this, but that's what's on the plate right this minute. Okay, so yesterday I was so sick. I only got 2,849 steps. I can't even believe I got that many. I got eight hours and 31 minutes of sleep last night. The kittens were amazing for me. My macros for yesterday, eating all that, was 125 protein, 85 or 83 fat, 1354 calories, six total carbs, five net carbs, and my weigh-in was 161.4 today. Yes, yes, both days I went up. I knew I was going up the first day, guaranteed, because it's how it happens every time I hit a new low, I jump from three to four pounds. It's happened over and over again. Also, you saw, I bottom plateaued, was really sick with no sodium, and I ate the crap load of sodium yesterday. I mean an insane amount. So I knew I was going up. I'm also not peeing and I'm drinking tons and tons of water. I'm continuing the sodium thing today and feeling way better and I am totally drinking water. But if you drink too much water and don't replace your sodium, you're flushing out with sodium you just put in your body. So you have to do it. You have, it's, it's a balancing game. If you take in a lot of sodium, take in a good amount of water. Take in a medium amount of sodium. Do not go and take in a crap load of water or you just flush it out of your body. It's like a balancing thing and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to balance my electrolytes back out. I figured it'll take a few days and I'm not gonna stress. I'm not gonna get upset. I'm still excited because I still lost 212 pounds 
this is water weight. This is sodium retention. I can see it when I press on my body. It is retention right now, which is my fault because I did too many days of very like protein sparing modified fast day. I did one of those and then I like, I wasn't hungry. So I was doing too low of foods for multiple days, which meant I wasn't eating sodium. I wasn't having my bacon that's loaded with sodium because it's low sodium bacon that I drench in Himalayan salt. And I wasn't doing that. I wasn't putting my Himalayan salt that much in my coffee anymore. I went to just one twist when I used to do 12 twists every morning. So I'm back to my 12 twists per coffee. I used to do 12 for three coffees a day, plus cover my eggs, my bacon, everything in sodium. And because I wasn't very hungry, I just stopped doing that. I just and it's my fault you know I had a sodium issue a couple of weeks ago too and crashed and burned I thought I was on it but I wasn't because I wasn't focusing enough I was focusing on the outer life things going around and wasn't paying attention to my electrolytes I always take magnesium my potassium has never been low in my life it's always high so I never ever worry about potassium um, but my sodium I have a sodium issue without keto we keto depletes it faster we don't have the carbs as sponge to hold in the sodium and fluid in our body. It releases it. And I had a big, huge whoosh, which released a whole lot because I peed insanely for 48 hours. Um, so now, now I just got to wait for my body to be like, she's not going to do that. Let's release what she's holding on to. And she's going to be responsible this time and actually eat what she should. Yeah. So I've been working on the website today. I didn't realize I was going to need to make a business PayPal, which I had to do today, which I'm waiting for confirmation. I'm going to end up opening the website without everything done. It'll be like under construction pages and different things like that because there's so much. It's not going to look like there's so much to it, but there's so much in the background of it that you can't see that had to be done. And I'm still trying to do. A lot of it's going to be videos instead of me just writing out bios. It'll be links to videos, things like that. Um, the members only area. So what will be over there? Um, I still have to work all those kinks out. I'm trying to do two different levels right now. There's only one. What will be over there is like some generic um, kind of like meal plans I've done for myself. Generic one week here or there for you know if you're doing 1200 calories if you're doing high fat if you're doing low carbs so there's going to be multiple different ones 1400 calories 1600 calories like one week of all these different tiers um which might be a little boring but it's just showing things just like a little startup with coaching and me doing meal plans and stuff like that now that's totally different that will be you know programmed to those people um, also on the members page you'll see videos no one else can see whether it's you know going shopping with me where I can't edit out the music so it's in there or um, I haven't decided if I want to do silly stuff on those or not I kind of really do but then you know everyone says it's not professional so I don't know if I want to add the silly stuff into the website membership area or not I don't know see I got all these things going through my head and everything I do I realized, oh, you have to purchase another thing. The members area actually cost me money. So not only did the website cost a lot of money, and I paid for a year because it's way cheaper doing that, but I end up each member's page costs money, and then they take a percentage on top of it. I guess people's got to make their money somehow, right? So everything, like I'm having to budget everything, I'm having to be like, okay, we can do without this, but we really need this, and, and yes, there will be some recipe areas on the members page that no one else sees and then there will be recipes which y'all have seen on my videos but they will be laid out on the website um too once i get that area that's gonna be under construction i'm gonna do all my cake stuff and bread stuff and my chaffles recipes and just my plain taco salad recipes like i'm gonna put a bunch of different stuff on the free areas too i am cooking some chicken breast in the oven the chicken strips we're in here cooking i'm starving I went and got subways for everyone. I was going to get me the chicken protein bowl, but I only like the big piece of chicken because I know exactly the protein, the calories, the fat in that, the little strips. They don't give you the exact numbers and stuff on subways for that, so I don't, they didn't have it, so I didn't do it. Um, this is what I put on my chicken. I'll go ahead and show y'all. 
This is my new favorite thing in the whole entire world. I've been putting it even in my eggs and tons of Himalayan salt as well. Now I was watching Wendy and Harry today and they do Redmond's. I have never done Redmond's because I thought it was too expensive, but I'm going to check the website out and see again um, because, you know, I like everything they like so far. Um, like, like, they got me in the keto gel. They got me into a lot of stuff, which, you know, I got really excited because I was able to order a bulk lemon off of Amazon today, but it's still sold out on Keto Child's website. So I did have to pay more than I usually do, but I really needed the lemon. I can't live without the lemon. I have a list of ones that I need as soon as they're back out. I need a bulk pumpkin. I need, uh, I want apple. I don't know if I want a bulk yet or not. I want to try some apple bread. I think I will really like the apple bread. You know, I don't really like the apple keto chow by itself. It's a little bland, not potent enough, but I have green apple drops from Flavor Zero. I have cinnamon and there's actually an apple pie drop I was thinking about buying to make it taste more apple pie -y. I got lots of plans, people. Y'all just don't know. Haley's birthday is Wednesday. She'll be turning 16. Um, and with these donut molds I got right here, I am going to let her pick out which keto chow she likes. Does she wants chocolate, s'more, like whichever. And we are going to use some keto chow and probably carb quick. I'm not going to lie. We're going to, and I'll, I'll make videos of it to make her some donuts. And we will probably, I don't know if we're just going to use some egg white or whole eggs because she can have it baked in this stuff, but not a lot. So when I make these pies, not these pies, but these breads and cakes, they are 90% eggs, like egg white. She is allergic to egg white just as much as the yolk. Um, but she can have like three eggs and a big giant meatloaf or a big cake, you know, things like that because it's, you know, spread out really far in between. We've been doing that for years to desensitizer towards eggs. I think we're up to six a meatloaf or something now. Um, so we're going to be doing some of that this week sometime. Uh, what else do I have planned? Like I have to start writing my list out because I have so many plans. We're going to try some different keto chilies in October. Um, as soon as the weather cools down, I have a lot of those kind of things, like some hot, yummy chilies. Um, I want to make dressings. I want to make dumplings like I have a list going I gotta add to it but right now you're just mainly seeing me make these protein sparing and modified fast breads and and stuff like that because I'm trying to lose weight trying to get to my goal weight because the last week of October I will probably go into maintenance mode but not full so I will still do some protein sparing and modified days during the week and I will do some regular total carb keto days but on Saturdays and Sundays or Fridays and Saturdays will be net carb keto day. I've already decided through the holidays, I'm going to do fasting days, protein sparing mod five fast days, regular keto eating days, which is 20 total carbs when I say that for me, some net carb keto days during the week, and intimate fasting every single day for me though. That's just a normal thing because I'm just not hungry. So whether I lose or not, it won't matter to me. It's just about trying to maintain the same five pounds or something. If I lose, hallelujah. If not, like I said, I don't care because I'll be on ibuprofen and I really don't lose when I'm on ibuprofen. There's not been a fall slash winter that I have not been downing ibuprofen around the clock. My fibromyalgia goes insane once the weather cools off. Um, and so I'm just preparing everyone for all that. That's why I was trying to get to my goal before then. So I'm about to have my second collagen coffee, so I'm going to go get that right now. I will show you what I eat. We will discuss more things later probably. Um, oh, I saw the kittens, two little sisters. I know for sure one's a girl. It is a cal uh, not a calico, a brindle. So it looks just like Sharky, but orange. And the pattern's just a teeny bit different. And I was pretty sure it was a girl because I did hold that one before. And then there is a just a normal striped one that's full of fluffy hair though, like honey. Um, 
and they were out running around today. They were on the porch, down at my mom's house and everything. They'll let you get near them, but you can't touch them. And they're so much bigger than these ones, but they are from the same litter. But I think it's just because they've had mommy's milk. They're eating real live birds and different things like that. And these ones are inside a house, no mommy's milk, and just eating like their first can of tuna today. And we haven't had an upset stomach yet, knock on wood. I'm keeping an eye on them because every time I give them something new, it seems to upset their stomach. They can do ground beef and chicken just fine. Now we're trying some tuna. I do the um just salt not salt just um water based tuna on them right now i figured the oils would be too messy for them like hurt their tummy but anyways i'm going to shut up and uh <sighs> they're staring at me from the perch and maybe take some kitty videos